Hey guys, it's Bridget and I am here today to talk about my monthly favorites for the month of January 2017. I haven't done a monthly favorites in a long time. It's been a while, several months, but I want to try to do monthly favorites as much as I can for this year. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more monthly favorite videos. The first favorite of the month is the uh, IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus. Okay, maybe I just won't read the whole label. Um, this is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Fair. I had heard a lot about this CC Cream. It basically does everything. It's got SPF 50, it's like a full coverage foundation, and it's also got some skincare benefits in there too. I like this because I can just slap this on bare skin on days when I haven't, when I don't have time to do my full skincare routine and makeup routine, and it gives a nice coverage, but it's not like, it's not too full coverage or like too matte that if I don't wear any other makeup with it, it looks weird. Some foundations, that are full coverage if you just put on foundation and then wear nothing else, it can look a little imbalanced, I guess. But this isn't like that. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, but with a lot more coverage, but still moisturizing. I find it does have a dewy finish, but not too dewy. There is a version of this that I think is like the illuminating version, and that one actually has like sparkly shimmer particles in it and I haven't tried that one but I find that this is dewy enough and um, I like it without the shimmer. If I want to use shimmer I usually like to combine a separate shimmer product with my foundation. My next favorite is the Kaylin lip gloss in the shade 11. I'm wearing this on my lips today. Um, I actually picked this up at IMATS last year and I know you're not really supposed to wear lip glosses for like more than a year but I actually didn't start wearing this until just about a month or two ago, so I think it's okay. Um, it's just a really pretty mauve pink shade, which is like super flattering on fair skin tones like me. Um, I paired this today with the MAC Lip Pencil in Staunchly Stylish, but I only use like a tiny little bit of the pencil just around my lips to sort of keep a clean line. This is actually super pigmented on its own. You don't really need to wear a lip liner with it, which is part of the reason that I like it. If you combine the lip gloss with the It Cosmetics CC Cream on like a no makeup or very light makeup day, then um, it makes you look put together right away. It's pigmented enough that it's not just like super sheer. It definitely gives you a pretty decent wash of color. Also, I've just been loving lip glosses in general recently. I feel like lip gloss is back and I'm a fan. And my next and last makeup favorite is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is the shade Moonstone. This actually came in a little kit I got from Sephora of like several glow things. I think it was like the Sephora Glow Favorites Kit, something like that. And I went straight away for the powder highlighters and kind of like left this to the side. And I picked it up recently. I'm so happy that I gave this another try. I've been using it, you can use it in many different ways. You can use it as like a base under your foundation or you can use it um, to dab on certain areas on top of your foundation to highlight. But the way I've been using it is like as an all over primer almost before putting on my foundation. I did it today, but I'm actually not wearing a separate highlighter anywhere on my face today over my foundation. All of this glow and dewiness is from using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector under my foundation. So it's kind of a nice way to have a more subtle all over glow if you don't want like sparkly patches on your face, which is fine too sometimes, but this is like a quicker way I think to achieve that glowiness. This is just like the small bottle that came in the Sephora kit, but I think it does come in a larger size and I'm definitely gonna be picking up a big bottle when I run out of this. My next favorite is the Orbe dry shampoo. This is the Gold Lust dry shampoo. As you may or may not know, Orbe is one of my favorite hair care brands, mostly because of the smell. It's so hard to describe, but if you've ever smelled any Orbe products, it's like a really, it's like a nice, perfumey, mature scent. It's kind of like a dark floral, I don't know, I'm really bad at describing scents. I think with dry shampoo, the scent of the product is one of the most important things. I've definitely used dry shampoos before and not liked the scent of it and had it linger like all day 
on my hair, which can be really annoying if it's not something that you love the fragrance of. So that's the main reason that I like this product, to be honest. Um, it does work really well as a dry shampoo. It has no white residue whatsoever. So if you are brunette, that's a good thing. It's like a totally clear formula. I took a yoga class last night and I haven't washed my hair since. And all I've used is this to keep clean. And I think it looks decent. It is pricey for a dry shampoo. It depends how fast you go through dry shampoo. If you go through a bottle a month, you may not want to spend like $40 on a dry shampoo, but um, this has lasted me several months so far. So if you use it sparingly, then I think it's a worthwhile investment. My next favorite is the Desert Essence Sweet Almond Hand and Body Lotion. This is actually my second bottle of this. I tried a sample of the L'Occitane Almond Body Butter and I loved it. It was amazing. It smelled so good, but it was like $50 for a tub of it. And since I'm spending $40 on dry shampoo, I don't have any money left over to spend $50 on body cream, which is something I do go through pretty fast. So I went to Whole Foods and found this organic body lotion for, I think, $10 or so, maybe less. It's kind of a sweet scent if you're not a fan of like almondy kind of marzipan like scents, you probably won't like it, but if you've tried the L'Occitane cream and you're a fan of almond scented body lotions and you don't want to spend $50 on them, this is definitely a great option. The ingredients are great. I always look at the first few ingredients on a body cream to see if it's gonna do a good job. And the first ingredients here are aloe juice, sweet almond oil, shea butter, SD alcohol, which is one of the moisturizing alcohols, and glycerin. So all of those ingredients are known to be really hydrating and soothing on the skin. So not only does it smell amazing, it really does work. I've still got a good amount in this bottle, but I will definitely be repurchasing a third when I'm done. And my last favorite is kind of a different one. This is the doTERRA Deep Blue Soothing Blend Roller Ball. So this is an essential oil blend that's basically good for muscle soreness. This has really come in handy recently when I've been traveling. I was in a minor car accident about a year ago and I have some neck problems left over from that. So traveling or like trying to sleep on planes or even just sleeping in a weird position can sort of aggravate this little neck pain that I have. So I found this to be a super effective remedy. Because it comes in a roller ball, you can really like roll it right onto the area. And I think maybe even just the action and the pressure of the rolling for me helps um, relieve that muscle pain. The ingredients are, um, I think a blend of like mint, wintergreen essential oil, let's see. Fractionated coconut oil, wintergreen leaf oil, camphor bark, peppermint oil and blue tansy oil, among a few other ones. It's a blend of specific essential oils that are meant to relieve muscle pain. It feels kind of warm when you apply it and it really does work like instantly. I usually have this in my purse at all times. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.